If you ever wanted to make it on the big screen, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Well, it was a quest for our next guest, Dr. James Higgins, who has done a pretty good job at accomplishing many goals on his list. And in the movie Persecuted, he actually got to check three off of his bucket list. Help produce a movie, act in a movie, and be the President of the United States. Actually, um, I played basketball in college and uh, at, at the time that this event occurred and we went to a national Division II basketball tournament. And on the way back, um, three of the physicians that were our team physicians came with us. Normally only one would, but because it was such a big deal that we were in this national tournament, my, my teammates wouldn't play cards with me because I could memorize things pretty well. So um, I played with the three physicians and took them for about 125 bucks, which back then, and 72 is a lot of money. So the one of them, the surgeon actually for this clinic, said, what are you majoring in? And I said, electrical engineering. He says, why are you majoring in that? And he said, well, you, you don't want to be an engineer, you want to be a doctor. And I said, oh, I don't know if I can stand the sight of blood. So Dr. McCabe took me to the operating room to watch, and watching him do one surgery and just said, man, I'm going to do this. Really, when I was 20 years old, I started a list of things I wanted to do before I died. And so one of the things that I initially put on is to be in a movie. And it took until I was 60, <laughs> 62 years of age to, to get that goal. I got a small part, but it, luckily it's an important part. It's the President of the United States. So I knew they probably couldn't cut my lines. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm, I'm very pleased with the film. I think it's very good entertainment. Um, it's what they call one of the best production value movies that several people have seen in a long time, meaning it didn't cost much to make, but the cinematography and the score, that is the music, are original and very and superb. I mean, they're very good. You know, just to do one scene, to do my scenes, which probably last a minute each in the movie, it takes four hours to film them. So, I mean, it, it's, it's a, it, I really have a lot of respect for guys like James Remar, who was in, you know, about every scene, and having to get in a different mood almost every day, and different makeup, maybe. I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's not as easy a job as you think. Mine, mine was easy. I mean, seriously, I played one person. I didn't have to change my personality during the movie like James did. I didn't have to act differently. Um, I had one person to act like and he was consistently acting the same during the movie. So, you know, it was a relatively easy role. You never do it on, by yourself. I, never, I obviously didn't do this movie by myself. I mean, I couldn't. Um, I don't do cardiology by myself. I'm following people that have developed angioplasty and stents. I fortunately have a lot of patents on electrical devices because of my electrical engineering de degree. Um, but I didn't do those by myself either. Um, did them with the different companies, with the engineers from different companies, with different physicians that would help us in the investigation of how it was. So, you know, I think, you know, that's, that's key. I have all these individual things that I want to do, but a lot of them are individual things where I go someplace to meet people. I mean, one of the things I want to do is visit every country in the world. Now, that's going to be very hard to do, especially with all the unrest now. But, you know, it's, at least it's a goal. I've, I've got all of South America, all of Central America, every province in Canada, every state in the United States, every capital in the United States, you know, crazy stuff like that. But every place you go, you meet somebody that, that's fun. And I also tell people, at least in the United States, you know, I grew up in South Dakota, been to Arizona State, uh, been to Portland, Oregon, uh, been to Boston, been to Rochester, New York, been to uh, in, in San, San Antonio, in Tulsa, and every one of those places I just mentioned where I spent time training, I could go and live. Every place I've been, I like, <laughs> you know. Uh, so, and I think the reason you do that is it's people. I mean, there's always someone there that's just like you or someone you can get along with, and usually there's more than one, there's usually 20.